Alright, get ready to have your mind blown. We made this cinematic video in Unreal Engine 5 in one day. What the fuck? With one single drone footage. What the fuck is this? Let me show you how we did it. After creating the NERF file from the footage, we imported it into Unreal Engine 5. It's literally as easy as dragging and dropping it into the viewport. Now that we had the whole scene ready, it was time to find the best angles. And those are the angles with the least amount of artifacts. That's a trick. It's funny because if you go to the sides of the NERF, it's gonna end up looking like this. And that's not what you want. So you gotta play it smart and keep looking for the best views. And then, Place your cameras there. The snowy mountain gave us the Game of Thrones and Lord of the Ring vibe. Rohirrim! To the king! <laughs> so we added the flying dragon and the Argonaut statues to our scene. Shout out to these guys for the model. Now of course the first thing we had to do was storyboarding. Planning out the order of the shots and then placing the items in the scene accordingly. But at the same time you wanted to maximize the potential of one single drone footage. Let's do one single drone footage and making sure we can stay in the scenes as long as possible without it feeling too repetitive. We had the astronaut moonwalking between the statues and we wanted our camera to have some dynamic movement. So we attached the tracker to the helmet of the astronaut. And for the dragon, all all we had to do was keep him its position from one place in the scene to another and that's what we did for the super wide shot. We also wanted another shot where the dragon would sweep right underneath the camera and as you see it passing by, you're gonna get this huge camera shake because it just gives so much respect to the weight and the size of the dragon. The camera shake was later added in post in DaVinci Resolve. Now, there is however one shot that is not using the nerf at all and that's this shot right here. The reason being the nerf just didn't look good when we pointed the camera down towards the floor. But we didn't want to go ahead and model a whole new mountain because that would ruin the purpose of creating something quick with a nerf. So we went to Quixel instead got the snowy clip laid down flat on the ground duplicated it so it has some depth and then shot the dragon flying on top and that way we got the beautiful shadow and now for the finishing touch I remember we bought this pack called easy fog by William Foucher which is another amazing youtuber who does a lot of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials and this easy fog pack is another way for you to add realism and depth to your shot to make them feel alive and a lot more natural so all you have to do is download it and use it in your scene by dragging and dropping the blueprint, scaling it, rotating it, and playing with a few settings to get the shots you want. We really do recommend it. <laughs> now that the BTS is a wrap, I just want to share something with you guys, something deep and meaningful between just us, me, Farhad, and you right now. We're not sharing this new AI technology with you to discourage you guys from creating your own environments. Not at all. In fact, we're trying to do the opposite. For example, if someone is new to Unreal Engine 5 or 3D art, and if they're afraid to try animating their characters or creating new stories, now this could be the opening for them, for you, to start trying making animations, short stories, because you, as one person, have the capability to go outside into the wild and not just be behind your computer, take a beautiful shot, and now you have your environment, then you can go ahead and put in some metahumans, animate them, and you, a solo artist can create your own short film where before that was impossible because you needed to spend a month on creating the environment so I guess if you look at it, the positive side there's so much to benefit from and that's what we're trying to share with you guys he's right thank you that's what it. he said yeah yeah thank you but thank you guys again for watching this video if you guys have any question leave them in the comments if you have two questions make sure to come to our discord server we are chatting with everyone there see you guys tomorrow ciao